five parts of the shoe are the heel tap, shank, cat's paw, toe tap, and tip. You want your feet to be parallel and hip width apart, and your knees slightly bent. Not too bent, just a little bent. It's important to warm up your ankles, ankle circles on both feet is a great warm up to do. If you want, you can even tap the floor as you do it. Going the other way as well. And you can even write the alphabet in cursive. These are things you can do to strengthen your ankles as well as warm them up. There's also a calf stretch that I recommend. You're gonna be on your toes as you tap. So it's very important to make sure your calves are warmed up. Lift the ball of your foot and drop it down. Make sure your knees are bent so you can really put your weight into it. Don't do small motions with straight legs. Bend your knees as you put your foot down. Put the weight into the balls of your feet and drop your heels. The higher you lift your heel, the louder sound you'll get. But don't lift your heel onto your toe, the tip of your shoe. Keep it on the ball of your foot. Toe taps, you're going to lift the foot and tap the ball of the foot. You want to specialize in your ankle flexion and not your leg. Flex the ankle and use it to tap the ball of your foot. Step. Stand. Jump.
And read. 